because I tried to do the right thing. I tried to bring awareness to a certain situation and I got caught up on the charge because the police didn't want to investigate it. They didn't have the time, whatever it might have been. And that's why I worry for you, Tony, because I don't want you catching something on the back of trying to do the best in the, in the, in a worse situation. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like when, when it comes to social media, right? Especially when it comes to exposing yourself, if you can't do it in public, there's a reason why it's called social media because it's social yeah it's it's no difference if you exposing yourself online or if you walk out in the street if you did that in the street you'd be put on the sex offenders register so for saying, yeah so for anybody that's saying oh you're labeling him a pedalo no he's labeled himself a pedalo because if he was sat there if he was sat there being racist you wouldn't be calling him a pedalo would you you'd be calling him a racist so yeah exactly you know and I just like to pick up on what Zappy was saying, yeah? So, like, I made a post about Sobriety Jack, yeah, which got 110k views, right? Sobriety Jack was well aware of that video and come online and started crying, saying how sorry he was and he was going to make a change. It was only three days later that he decided to go and stick a thing up his bum. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. me doing that awareness brought no attention to it. But yet, now... The game's been upped and obviously his whole neighborhood know about it. He's now thinking twice, twice. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, what Tony's 100%. doing is making an impact. 100%. And do you know what, Tony? Yeah, I've been saying this for a long time because when I first come on the app, I was exposing everyone for being manipulators, gaslighters, emotionally blackmailing people. I honestly believe, yeah, and I don't care if this gets put on the FYP. I honestly believe what needs to happen is an elite team is made, yeah, and this elite team is completely off socials. No one knows nobody, and they go and deal with them the way the Americans deal with them. Do you know what I'm saying? Because in parts of America, bro, you can go and physically deal with them the way you, you think they need to be dealt with. And I genuinely believe that... You see these pedalo hunting groups, yeah? They go on the news, and then the news, uh, the mainstream media rip them to pieces. Your, your, um, effects in the criminal case. Right, now listen to this, yeah? You could do the sickest things to an innocent, vulnerable child and ruin the rest of their life, and you get a community payback order. You get put on a register, but yet you get to change your name, you get to be relocated. <laughs> You're then entitled to high rate disability benefits because you can't go and work in the sector of where vulnerable people are. So unfortunately, this country likes to protect them. And I genuinely believe that you can be a ghost if you want to be a ghost. I was a ghost for many, many years, yeah? Oh, Shani's saying swap the seats, I'm waffling. <laughs> I can't drive on to do it. Well, yeah, and I do believe that it needs to be an elite team and there will be no trace. The police won't do nothing. And do you know what? They'll put, a, they'll put appeals out in the public and they'll say, we need information on this team. We need information on that team. Look at Anonymous. Yeah, Anonymous is a massive organisation, right? And they can, they can go and do whatever they want and cannot be tracked. It's all done from VPNs, it's all done from cars that were registered uh, before 2000, no trackers, no no technology. And they could 100% say that it could be done, but it needs to be the right people in it, 100%. Yeah, guaranteed, guaranteed. I, to I totally agree with you, mate, I totally agree. You know what, and, and to be honest with you, in, in a way of saying it, Technically, it, this this end this is more of a TikTok problem than it is a police problem. The police the police is stretched left, right, and center with everything going on. The police are stretched and and they're throwing these cases back and back and back. And you you sit back and I understand people are saying right, this group is watching them, that group is watching them. Oh, you mute yourself, Tone. Just Sorry, it, it, I got a phone. I was getting a phone call. Can you hear me? Yeah. You're going to have to drop out and come back in. You're echoing. Yeah, it's echoing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, do you know what? One of the biggest things I love about the traveling gypsy community, right, is when a wrongan is outed in their community, they will not stop until justice is served. Yeah. And it, it, they're not accepted or welcomed in the community. Um, and and the thing is, like you say, I read an article online, yeah, over 80,000, 80,000 crimes that was reported last year wasn't even investigated due to the lack of um, funding within the service. And that's due to the police turning up to domestic, like domestic arguments that, 
you know what I mean? Wasting all of the time doing that sort of thing. I'm not saying like d- domestic violence is a waste of time. I'm saying like if you have an argument with your missus and then the neighbour rings the police and you know what I mean? They're, they're constantly going into like domestic related um, arguments that can't be resolved and there's no perpetrator or victim. And I watched, yeah, I watched a woman who who works with child online safety team, right? She goes into parliament and she was talking about a human trafficking case where a woman was brought over from Romania. Um, the, you know, she was a trigger warning to this. She was involved in an R, if that makes sense to people. She got pregnant, had the baby. Then our government sent her back to Romania. She was then trafficked back to the UK, had the same situation and another baby that was put into the system, yeah? And this woman was saying that the funding, 4.5 million pound per year, is what they get for funding. And when they look at the child trafficking cases, it works out 47 pound per case. That's because of how many cases there are. So how the hell can anyone investigate a crime on £47 when it costs it costs something daft like £280 an hour just for a police officer to turn up to your house to take a statement? It's mad. Sorry for waffling, everyone. Sorry for waffling. Nah, it's all good, man. Fucking right, bro. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are passionate. There's a lot of people that have been in similar situations and it's very triggering, do you know what I mean? So people have to go out of the way to do something. Because if we don't and we say nothing, it's easy for everyone to go, oh yeah, but you need to wait for a police investigation. Nothing will change from now till the end of the police investigation, whether the man gets found guilty or not. That's the facts of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it really is true. Like, you, 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 wait till, you wait till one of your children is in bother and then tell me you're going to wait six, six weeks for, for, for an investigation. 100%. Tell me then you're, tell me then you're going to want to wait around for six weeks or six months for an investigation. 100%. Definitely. Yeah, but because it's, it's not, like, yeah. I, like I said here the other day, because it's not on your doorstep, you have all different opinions about it. But the second you find an issue around that, that surrounds you or your family, that's when it's that's when you that's when you were like, well, where's these where's these teams? There's gotta be someone that can help. There's gotta be someone that can do this and that. Hundred percent. I was six years of age, yeah, and I was subjected to an essay, right? And this man was mentally unstable, so he couldn't stand on trial. The police came to my house and said, because it's his word against his word, there's not really much we can do. So me as my, me and my family as a collective, we decided that, that that man's lights needed to be turned off, as simple as that. And that's what happened. And um, unfo- unfortunately, he wasn't able to do that to another child. Do you get it? So... You know, people will take the law into their own hands. And um, my brother sat, my brother sat with a smile in his mugshot because he, he he loved every second of it because he felt like he'd done what the family needed him to do. And for me, there is there is no justice in this country, regardless of what it is. No, and no. I've been very open about that situation as well. If if you think you know that you can go around doing that and there's no consequences, well, more for you because people will take things into their own hands. And if, this, if if people had faith in the justice system, we would be going through every single court proceedings that needed to be taken place. But me as a six year old child who getting told that, sorry, there's nothing that we can do because one, he's mentally unstable, so can't stand on trial. And two, it would be your word against his. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, fuck that. The thing, the thing is, mate, uh, yes. As this is and how sick it sounds, Hollywood is glamorising all this shit that's going on. I mean, you got like people like Woody Allen. He adopted a small child. He raised that child and then married that child. He's now in a relationship with that child. So just... Mm-hmm. The it's like all the Allen. celebrities, though, nowadays, they're all it's like glamorous. that. It's, it's, just, it's hidden. Yeah, it's because they feel like they've got all this power, yeah? And what they want is what nobody else could get. Because normally, like if I was a multi-trillionaire, I'd be buying jets, I'd be buying boats, I'd be buying all the things that all the rich people would want to buy. But they want to have that power over over people, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like I said before, bro, there was a conspiracy theorist where there was something within a baby. I think what it was is fear. When, mm-hmm. when a child is in fear, they release some form of <clears throat> thing in their body and then these people take that from them and it's Adrena, meant to be an adrenochrome, aren't you? Adrenochrome. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe in all that, me. The Red Shoe Club, a lot of them. Yeah, there's a lot, there's, there's a lot of facts to that as well, all that stuff, you know. 
yeah. was a, doc- a doctor, a German doctor called yeah, Alman. Al- 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 straight into the old conspiracies. No, Alman. I think it's Alman Switz. Anyway, he done an investigation, and that was a fact that they actually, that was actually proven. You know, when certain people get in a heightened mood of scared and when they're feared, that, that something gets released into the blood yeah, system, yeah. and that yeah, yeah it yeah. does. Oh, and another thing as well, because people keep like to use this. Oh, well, someone's going to harm themselves, yeah? Well, let me just tell you something, right? If, if someone did do that, unfortunately, in this country, if you, do, if you did self-SH, yeah, and you ended up passing from that, on your, on your death certificate, it will be SH. It won't be SH because of this person or SH because of this person. It will be SH, end of story. So if they if they feel the need to go and do something ridiculous because they've been found out to be a fucking wrong one, well, then unfortunately, you should reflect on your situation and say, do you know what? I'm never going to put myself in that situation because if I put myself in a situation where someone can question my integrity, that's a me problem. Nobody else's problem. That's a me problem. Exactly that. Like, I just wanted to come on here. I know I'm not a TikTok or anything, um, but I suffer with mental health. So all this stuff with, you know, Alphabet and all that crap, um, I just want to say that, you know, she <laughs> um, is not the person to be on this app. And they've said so many times they're going to leave over the past few years, because obviously I've been watching them on TikTok for years. And they say, oh, I'm going to leave, I'm going to do this. And they never do. And all they're doing is putting the wrong image out there to TikTok. Because to, TikTok is technically a kid's app. So even though there's adults on it now, you know, the stuff they're doing and putting out to the public isn't the right thing to do. And all they're going to do in the end is say, oh, trans rights, trans rights, mental health, mental health. But it's not an excuse for what they're doing to be talking to kids on apps. And I don't mean to bring this up, but if you guys remember long ago that um, Jack, who Alpha was friends with, um, he actually put on his TikTok that he was sexually assaulted by Alphaba and that actually didn't come into the light. Um, so obviously this has been hidden for a very, very, very long time and no one really pays attention to it. So I have nothing yeah. wrong with trans people or anything like that, yeah. but it's just the way that Alphabet's using this app to, you know, get the views that it, that it wants in a way it shouldn't be, because it shouldn't be that way, that, you know, it's using the limelight and then just making excuses and stuff. 100%. Uh, and can I, I just pick I, up on something? Hold on. Sorry. There's a lot of the chat saying that Jack didn't say it was Alpha Bar, so I'm going to just make that clear, oh, right? Caulfield, I know he said that about him. But oh, you are okay, that's my mistake. But yeah, can I, I just can I, say, can I say one thing? Can I say one, honestly one thing? Do you, do you know you know tomorrow morning if everyone woke, woke up and opened TikTok and there was no gifts, people wouldn't act half the ways that they do. Mm-hmm. People wouldn't wouldn't do half the things that they do. Please believe me on that. They would, I, I don't believe yeah. they do half the things that, they, that they're doing. I think some people have got to jump into the mind that the more of a bigger force you kick up, the more people you get in, and the more this and that that's going to happen. And, and it's, it's, There weren't no gifts, mate. There won't be no app. There won't be none of these creators on here doing the thing. 100%. 100%. Um, we don't get away with any of that behaviour on Twitch where they actually give you a contract and pay you. Do you get what I'm saying? Like pl- Platforms yeah. like Kick and that, they actually pay you like a contract to be on their platform so you wouldn't be sitting there doing this type of stuff do you get what i'm saying you look at how no, this, 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 on this live this live later on sorry i'm interrupting someone go ahead sorry no, no, I was just gonna say, you look how modine was on neon's twitch stream yeah and how he was still modine but he was in more a humble way do you get what i'm saying still done his silly antics but when he was back onto TikTok. And the gifts were coming in. The stuff he was doing was crazy. Mm. Yeah. And so, again, somebody who promotes gang violence and there's yeah. kids out here getting killed for mistaken identity. If anyone's ever been brought up in a narcissism, uh, narcissism 
environment, they will know and see the signs of manipulation. A narcissist will always try to manipulate you into thinking you're the one that's wrong. And if you look at Alpha Bar, Jack, or anybody else that's done wrong on this app, they always start with something ludicrous, then they'll manipulate you into feeling sorry for them because they're going to harm themselves or whatever it might be. And then you then feel guilty and you feel like you're getting shut down. But yet, the, the quick to say is bullying, right? Now, in my eyes, if you were sat there name calling somebody or, or like being nasty to them, then yeah, I'd understand it's bullying, but it's not bullying. You're bringing awareness to these monsters. And at the end of the day, if they don't want to be labeled the monster, don't act like one then, innit? Yeah, exactly. Um, I just want to say, obviously. If I come in and started doing what Dave the Rave done, or, or sobriety Jack did, I'm leaving myself open to every name calling I receive. 100%. It's as simple as that. 100%. And the new buzzword on TikTok is beast and uh, shit like that. So it all gets watered down. Every single part of it gets watered down. Because when you're angry with someone, you just label them a beast or you label them a pet. And, and the next thing you know, they're being targeted with zero evidence. But the facts are the ones that have got evidence on them, they're now denying it and they all stick together. Birds of a flock fl flock together or whatever to say it is. Yeah, yeah, the birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, I know, 100%. And you know what's more funny? Or, like, this, even even that person who switched accounts now moved over to Insta, that um, that uh, coach. What's that? What's I can't think. I don't know the full name. No, Something. No consent. Coach. No consent. No yeah, consent yeah, coach. yeah, yeah. That's the one oh, that they, they've, moved, they've moved to Insta. Now, I, don't, I wonder does people know their history, but I think they've left this app and moved over to Insta. Insta. Now they were removed. Soxie and that got a removed from the app. That's like oh, they removed from this one, yeah. yeah but yeah, Soxie but still, and that had them removed. But, but, but still, like they're in there now. Just because just because they're off TikTok doesn't mean that that they're safe. No. They're like they're still they're still there charging this that and the other, and people don't know. There's a fella that's on here which once I'm finished this live feed, once I I'm, I'm by the way, people, this I won't be live on TikTok. This live feed with Alpha. It's going to be on, on the YouTube page, not on this. It's going to be on the YouTube page, and I've already put that on my other account to show you which page, to tell you which page it is. Uh, this is going to be on the YouTube page. Um, but with, um, with uh, what you call it, uh, that, that coach, what, what's the difference? What, just because they're off TikTok now, that makes it okay? No, it not doesn't. They still need to be made aware of, because they're still charging people I think what is it for fifty pound an hour for this that and the other and 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 no one probably even knows who they're who they're they're, they're paying. Do you know Do you know what I mean? It's fucked up, yeah. bro. Everything that's going on is just fucking one after the other. Like it's I don't even get it. I really don't. There's, there's a load of people. There's a load of people. Unfortunately, I can't split myself into fifteen motors and go to all different locations at the same time. I can't do it. How, how what am I meant to do? What am I meant to do? I can't do it. You know, but people want to tell me where I should go, what, why, where I should have been, what I should be doing next. What is it? Come with me. Fire, go get your motor. Come drive beside me. Take these, take these journeys with me. I do understand. understand. Jason, Paul Breach is getting made aware of tonight. Don't worry. Like I said, when I come off, I'm doing a YouTube video. A YouTube video. I'm doing a video. And an awareness live will be done on Paul Breach tonight at 7.30 because I know there's a lot of people that have been trying to bring awareness to him that are going to want to speak up. So I know it's going to be What's a fucking YouTube big one. What's the YouTube so people can go across and support? What's uh, your YouTube, Tony? At, at Only Tony Official on YouTube. At Only Tony Official. Um, you'll see the, he's got the pictures on me there. There's, there's one, I think there's only two videos on that page. Um, or one or two videos that I've done that pop to test out. Because uh, I, I, I didn't actually know where, because with TikTok, you know where to put all the hashtag stuff. On that one, I didn't have a clue. So you'll see there's a there's a police video on there, and uh, I can't remember the other video, but uh, yeah, you'll see it. You, you'll see it on there. It's, it's, it's not a lot of following on it, but that's the one that it's going to be live on. It's um, Only Tony Official on YouTube. What time, Tony? Uh, is the man, the myth, the legend in here? Man, the myth, the legend, no, I don't think, I've not seen it. The, name, the name's Bond, are you here? Are you here watching? I don't think so. The name's Bond. He was in the comments earlier. Yeah, I seen him in the comments earlier, then he's gone. 
Yeah, he's there. Listen, um, will you, um, will you miss the other, the other Sublik can tell him I need the, that Lackings, uh, Kenyan, please. And just message me separate on the WhatsApp. Yeah, when I come off this, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get it. Please. Yeah, but just try to, try to tell him to mis mislead the, the, the Lackings. Keen straight away because I'm down in this minute now. So people can see it in what time, etc. <laughs> yeah, he said he has. He's already done that. Oh, did you? All right, perfect. All right, no worries. No worries. Nice one. Yeah. I nice think one this happening is because people are promoting it and giving them excuses and reasons and then people are looking at their lives and going, oh my God, Jack's had 4,000 people for sticking Kevin the carrot where it shouldn't have been put and then that's going to influence them because you got to remember there's not... there's. People have their own voice and people have their own platform. But when people are seeing other people do good, and in their eyes, that is doing good because they're getting numbers in, they're getting enablers to fucking send them money and all that. You know what I mean? And that's why they keep doing it. Jack's, Jack's a re-offender. And I do think... we. I'm going to get in touch with a few of the... Um, I've got a few friends that are in connection with the predator hunting teams and I'm going to find out what can we actually do on the, on the basis of the stings because ultimately, if Jack did what he did in public, he'd be getting stung. Somebody so remind what, me the name of these games, please. So yeah, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Um, yeah. uh, thank you, Claire. I appreciate it. Thank you. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Listen, uh, there's no difference to doing that out in the street like you said. Or, or behind the screen, you're exposing yourself to to still people. You're just exposing yourself to people, you know. And it'd be different. It'd be different. Like there is other apps, as 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 people know, and I've heard it being spoken about a few times. There is other apps that people actually go and can create a private room and whatever and do whatever they want to do. That's fine. That's, That's you're doing your own thing. You're you're on an adult app. Like, don't say that because you'll get banned. Yeah, but there's oh well. You are right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but that's that but the reasons. The, well, the reasons why they don't want to do it over there, is so they can so they can attract the most vulnerable. That's the facts of it. I know if I wanted to put explicit content out there, there's multiple apps of where I could do it. Only fans, only friends. Um, Clapper, the rest of them. If my, if I wanted my audience to be extremely young and vulnerable, you'd then do it on here. Only nans. No way, I didn't know that. I love an older lady, mate. Only nans. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> you you oh, see the, the way I, the way I look at it as well, yeah. The way I look at it, and and this this might this might piss a few people off, but I I I, I do believe in it. I believe if you come on Shall this you? app, if you come on this app and you start and you start um. Uh, uh, like indecent, like exposing yourself or, or doing indecent things on here, yeah? You're at fault. If you're with an adult app and a child manages to, however they do it, manage to get on that app, yeah, without you knowing, that's, that's not, it's not your fault, but you've done everything to protect your back. You're on that over 18 site. You don't know who's coming in, but all you know, but when you know you're on a 12 plus site, when you know you're on a 12 plus site and you're behaving like that, you 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 are leaving. You are deliberately going out of your way to get anyone to look at it. Do you understand what I mean? That's what I'm saying to you. I may not be explaining it right, but what I'm trying to say is, you're on a 12 plus app. Be mindful of what you're doing. Be mindful of what you're doing. Do you understand? I had to because when I first came on it, I was arguing everyone and going, took the trees, got freaked a lot. And then I thought to myself, who am I influencing here? And that's why I stopped all them exposures in life because it, it wasn't fair yeah. or right to be promoting that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Of course. But I will be having a look for that up but in the It's, there. um,. Yeah. Right, listen, people. I need to get off and get myself some lunch because the fuck, my stomach is grumbling. Uh, but, big, um, up, big up, Tony. Yeah, big no, up, listen, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll let everyone drop out and then I'll explain. But this. big up, big up, Tony, Tony Zabby, Danny. Tony, right, send us your bank details. Be, be I'll be be want a little drink for you. Don't worry, no, 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 listen, don't worry, honestly, don't worry, don't worry, man, don't worry, don't worry. Don't no, worry, I've, I've got it, I've got it sorted, man, don't worry. Don't worry, honestly, listen, uh, thank you. Thank you to everyone in the, in, the, in the, thank you to everyone for the support. Massive respect to Ollie and thank you to everyone that's uh, that's throwing everything at me here as well. And I appreciate it. Massive respect to those of you that follow the YouTube channel. Uh, that's gonna go live 
very, very shortly. All the best people, I'll catch you shortly, yeah? Zabi, big big respect, yeah? All right. Can I just yeah. say, no, I'll catch you. I see my friend Paul Venner coming here. If anyone's got young lads that are going on the streets fighting or or gang violence, anything like that, get in touch with Paul Venner. He's just set up a street beef Is UK you where young lads can come on his platform, have a straightener the right way, the good way, and then go home safe to the family. So big up to Paul Venner for doing everything he's done. He's a real life struggler. He's been for addiction, mental health, a lot of them. So big, massive respect to Paul Venner. Make sure you catch him on Instagram and TikTok as well. Big up to everyone that supported us all. Big love, man. And big up, Sam. Take care. All the best, people. All the best. Take big care. Up, all the best. All the best. No offense. Right. I can't tell you. Yeah, brother. big up, time. See you in a bit. Um, as I was saying, people, fuck Paul Breach. Tell Paul Breach I said he can go and SYM. Tell him I'm going to be putting up a video soon to make aware, well, make people aware we're going to be doing a um, awareness on him tonight. So 7.30, we will be live. Make sure you keep an eye on my page and share the video out so we can get enough people in to make sure they're aware of this cretin. All right? But till then, big love, everyone.